and hello again. Well, congratulations to James Aitchison, commiserations to Tim Roth. Well, now, just to fill you in on tonight's or today's ceremony, it comes to you not only from the Dorothy Chandler Pavilion, but also from Dre's Restaurant here in West Hollywood. This whole place has been taken over by Columbia Pictures for a party which they, and I'm sure all of us, hope will turn out to be a celebration of the fingers crossed, imminent Oscar successes of Sense and Sensibility, which has seven nominations. Well, one down, six more to go. Altogether, Britain has 21 nominations this year, including, since we're talking about Sense and Sensibility, Emma Thompson, who's pulled off a unique double by being nominated both for Best Actress and Best Adapted Screenplay. Then we have Anthony Hopkins for Best Actor and Michael Radford and Mike Figgis for Best Director, and so on. I don't think, realistically, we can hope for too many actual Oscars. After all, this is essentially an American event, and most of the 5,000 or so Academy of Voters are American, so when push comes to shove, it's reasonable to assume they'll be supporting the home teams. But, as I said, it's a wide open field, and if, for instance, Babe wins Best Picture, as a lot of people in Hollywood think it might, well then, pigs can fly and anything is possible. Mind you, the favourite for Best Picture is Apollo 13, partly because it celebrates an American triumph over adversity, and partly, no doubt, because it's the only all-American movie among the five nominees. As a matter of interest, other favourites, according to the bookies, are Mel Gibson for Best Director, Nicolas Cage for Best Actor, and Susan Sarandon for Best Actress. OK, that's enough background. Now let me tell you about this programme. You know, if you watch the Oscars ceremony on TV in America, it sometimes seems to consist of a load of commercial breaks surrounded by a bit of a show. So in these commercial breaks, we'll have interviews with some of the 20 British hopefuls, and from time to time, I'll be joined by the likes of Ian McKellen, Alan Rickman, Tracy Ullman and Ewan McGregor to chat about what's coming up and what's happened so far. Anyway, that's something to look forward to over, I don't know, the next three hours, three days. Oh, sorry.